the planet's core. Krypton won't hold together much longer. But all your research, isn't there something you can do? That's why we're here. A spaceship. That's what you've been working on? Your uncle Jor-El discovered a planet that can sustain Kryptonians far away from Brainiac. He's built a ship just like this for your cousin Cal. But Cal, he's just a baby. Which is why you'll need to protect him. Teach him our ways. Me teach him? What about you? No. No. No, I won't leave you. Please. Please don't make me. I can't come with you, but you'll never be alone. You belong to the house of El, Kara. A house of hope. Never forget that. Never give up hope. Get in. In my years fighting crime, I've learned one truth. That every villain is the hero of his own story. Superman was no exception. The Joker drugged him, tricked him into killing his pregnant wife Lois, and made him trigger the bomb that nuked Metropolis. So when Superman killed the Joker, I understood why. We all did. But once that line was crossed, there was no going back. He gave himself and the Justice League a new mandate. Stop all crime before it happened, by any means necessary. But he couldn't see his good intentions were leading him down a path of tyranny and evil. That's how our greatest hero became our greatest threat. So what if Superman's pulling criminals out of Arkham? They're the worst of the worst. He's going to kill them, Damien. Sounds like justice to me. Killing people isn't justice. Superman can't see that. He's grieving. He needs time to heal. Yeah, and what if it had been Gotham? If Joker had killed me, your own son? Thought he'd say that. Not responding, we're being taken to the back cave. Prepare to eject.
A warning shot, cyborg. I won't hurt you unless I have to. You're gonna have to. My friends were in Metropolis, Batman. Starfire, Beast Boy, gone. We do this. That never happens again. You're right to be angry. But it's not a blank check. And the Justice League isn't a death squad. Gonna lock you up this time. Don't be so sure. You don't see it yet, but Superman's wrong. Your glider skills need work. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Let's go. So you won't kill, but you're fine with traumatic brain injuries. Secure the loading docks. Here to help, Bruce? Yes, to keep you and Clark from making a terrible mistake. None of us wanted this, but the Joker forced our hand. Metropolis changed the world. Now we have to change with it. Not like this. Of all people, I thought you would understand. Hail Hermes! Rethink your strategy. Now. Good move. You're getting shut down. Don't be so sure. Tell me the truth. Where is he? 
cell block C. You can't turn your back on him. He needs you. That's why I came. Clark. These inmates are irredeemable. They're thieves, rapists, murderers, like the Joker. That's the problem with fighting for truth and justice. The battle never ends. And executing them will end it? First Joker, now this. When does it stop? When there's no more crime. When people can live without fear. We want the same thing, Bruce. I wanted to kill my parents' murderer. I could have. But that's not the life they wanted for me. And it's not the life Lois would want for you. Don't you put that on me. A red solar grenade. To dull your powers, you need to stop. Take time to grieve before it's too late. You wouldn't. You're supposed to be my friend. Which is why I have to stop you. in revenge. I can end this any time I want. Sorry, Clark. Get away from me. Look who I found. Victor Sass. Psychopath. How many women have you killed? 121. 121. Huh. Sounds incorrigible to me. Robin, let him go! You'd rather fight your friends than the real problem. I'm warning you, son. Son? You didn't raise me. The League of Assassins did. <laughs> Problem solved. Who's next? Damn it, Damien! 
This is a line we do not cross. Then stay on your side, Batman. I'll be on Superman's. Making yourself look bad. I could say the same, son. Grandfather knew you were weak. Joker keep on killing. You couldn't save Lois or Jason or anyone. That's enough. Let's go. But the inmates. Not today. the regime fell. Superman's behind bars. Damien, my own son, is there with him. But we can't ever forget why we put them there. We must stay vigilant. I thought your goal was to reassure people, Mr. Wayne. You're not alone in rebuilding Gotham and Metropolis. But if we don't change the mind soon... Thought that's why you hired that overpaid PR firm, Lucius. Convincing folks to move back to these cities is a lot harder when they're afraid someone's gonna knock them down again. Superman's never getting out. I made that clear. But Wonder Woman, Black Adam, Aquaman, they're still out there somewhere, and seemingly immune to prosecution. I know you built Brother Eye to keep tabs on all those loose ends, but the public doesn't know. Brother Eye's secrecy is critical. Our enemies can't fight something they don't know exists. Well then at least follow one bit of advice we paid those PR people so much money for. What's that? Be a little less Batman, a little more billionaire playboy. Get out around town in the daylight and smile. Focus groups show people feel safer when they see you smile. Hmm. That would be your other job. Circle of trust. Nobody wins all by themselves. Not even you. It's a lot of work. Dinah, Oliver, thanks for coming on short notice. <laughs> You're lucky we found a sitter. My great-grandfather built the original Gotham Underground. But these days, 
It's the Batcave. More like the Eye of Sauron. Surveillance hub? More than that. A communications hub. Linking every satellite and server on the planet. It warns us when trouble's coming. And guides us when trouble's here. Must take... world away but the change of scenery is nice I was surprised you called Bruce things seem to be going well so what's up dismantling the regime created gaps in global security we're covering them where we can but we're stretched thin vulnerable Harleen show them what you found right old bats gorilla grod Everyone's favorite talking ape. He's got himself a band of bozos. Calls them the society. My mole in Gorilla City says Grodd's planning something big. But what, where, when, we don't know. One thing we do know, Scarecrow's gonna ship Grodd a buttload of fear gas from a hideout in Slaughter Swamp. Very mosquito-y. Good thing I packed my bug spray. I need you three to stop that gas before it gets to Grodd. Not joining us for the party? Unfortunately, I can't leave Gotham without worrying the public. Don't worry, Bats. With this crew on the job, what could go wrong? I know I'm the new guy, but you really trust Harley? She's a different person since Joker died. Mostly. Faster. I don't need Grodd taking my head off because your boys are too slow. Fear not, Deadshot. We'll be ready for tomorrow's attack. Tomorrow? Cheeky monkey. Fancy meeting you here. Keep them moving. I'll see what that's about. Red! I ain't seen you in forever! You here to take down these punks? Quite a catch, Ivy. Red? You're with them? Your man, Bruce, was supposed to better care for the green. All he's done is remodel the concrete jungles of Gotham and Metropolis. Where I sit, there's not much difference between him and Superman. Ugh. You're a few cones short of a pine if you think your new friends care about the green. Grodd will keep his promises, or he'll be my next victim. Oh, Red, why are you making me do this? Let me get you out of here, girl. We can team up again. Drive all the boys crazy, you know, like the old days. The old days were fun, but these days I'm all business.
Did I mention I'm poison? I can still cut you, sweetie. Sleepovers for you. <laughs> Face your fears. Achoo. Please, I used to hop this stuff for kicks. Then you'll appreciate my new formula.
come see my surprise. <laughs> Nobody puts Harleen in a corner. Let's go before it takes away! Mama always said I had a black thumb. Now you ready to be all ears? It's Scarecrow and his goons you want. They're mixing toxic gas right in your backyard. We came to stop them. I see. Consider that, should our interests align. For now, go. This swamp must heal. you just in the clouds listening if someone saw you how many times have we told you it's too dangerous outside Kondok I spent decades lost in space stuck in hypersleep until Adam found my ship and now I'm cooped up here how can we make you more comfortable let me out Diana you've taught me what my powers can do this world needs help Earth's people are so divided. They're always fighting. That's the world without Kal-El. Batman has eyes everywhere. He can't know about you before we're ready. 
I'm not afraid of some guy in a mask. Ugh. I can bend steel with my bare hands. So could your cousin. Well, well, what good are these powers if I can't even help Kal-El? We will, Kara. Just like you and I freed Diana from Themyscira. The time will come. We'll save Kal-El, and Batman will answer to us. Our best chance to stop Grodd is a preemptive strike. Sounds more military than vigilante. You try calling the army? There is no army. Not yet. To break up the regime, we had to start from the ground up. So, what? Us three extradite Grodd from under his entire guerrilla army. Grodd's their alpha. Take him down, and the others will submit. But be wary of running into other members of his society. They're more coordinated than we knew. Next stop, Gorilla City. Guess I better call the sitter. Mommy and Daddy are coming home late. If this is more than you and Ollie are comfortable with, Dinah, I'll have Blue Beetle and Firestorm take over. No. We can do this. You've been out of the fight a long time. You have a family. Your family too, Bruce. I couldn't be there to finish the fight against Superman. I'm damn sure finishing this one.